Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of What's Doing with Dylan. Uh, I'm your host, Dylan, of course. Uh, and this week we're going to be looking at an update to our roll center correction kit that suits S chassis. So we've got here our roll center correction kit, which is one of our most popular products that we've been selling for a really long time. Uh, we've managed to improve the product uh, and we've done this by updating the tie rod pickup hardware to go from an M10 stud up to an M12 bolt. By updating from the M10 stud to the M12 bolt, we've increased the strength by 45%. Uh, it's also easier to assemble and more serviceable seen as it's, it's now an off-the-shelf product, um, an off-the-shelf part. So this updated version of the Roll Center Correction Kit is something that I've personally been running on my track car for at least the last 12 months. Um, and alongside the in-house testing that we've done, we've now rolled this out to all current stock of Roll Center Correction Kits. I'll now quickly run you through the install on the knuckle that we've got here on the bench. First thing is to grab the ball joint shank and wind that down into the roll center body. Next is to grab the thread adapter for the tie rod point on the body uh, and put that into the body as well, hex side first, so that the hex is on the bottom. This needs to be wound down until it is flush with the roll center body. Before putting it onto the knuckle, don't forget to install the little miniature traffic cone looking thing into the tie rod pickup. And now insert the ball joint shank into the ball joint pickup on the OEM knuckle. Um, we now need to adjust the height of that shank so that the roll center body sits flush against the knuckle with no gap while the taper is seated. Go ahead and put the nut onto the top of the shank to hold it in place for now. Before inserting the washer and bolt through the tie rod pickup into the adapter. So then go ahead and torque the nut and the tie rod bolt down to the spec shown on the assembly guide before finally installing the LCA and your OEM tie rod. As a reminder, all current stock will be sold in this bolt version. Um, and for those that want to update the previous versions to use the bolt, uh, you can buy this on the website now. Thanks for watching another episode of What's Done With Dylan. Uh, as you can see behind me, we've also got some new merch coming, uh, so stay tuned for that as well.